The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3 to 5 that, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God unto the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing to captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Here are the weapons for warfare available to every Christian and with these weapons, you can counter-attack and defeat any scheme of the devil against you. Please, keep watching to the end. Harry, wake up. Harry. Harry. Who are you? I am the accuser of brethren. The great dragon that was cast out. The old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. I have come to steal, to kill and to destroy. What? What are you doing here? I have come in one of my many forms to inform you that you're going to die in a few months, so put your house in order. I am the spirit of death. What? I'm going to die? No. I belong to Jesus. I have legal agreement with your forefathers to kill people in their prime, in your family. Don't you see the pattern of premature death? So far, six people have died in their prime and you're next in line. Satan, you're a liar. You cannot kill me for I belong to Jesus, and he says that no man can pluck me out of his hands. I see. But do you even belong to Jesus? I can take you because you're just a sinner. That lady that slept over two nights ago, is she your wife? How many times have you told her to abort your baby? You fornicate, you're a murderer, a liar and a sinner, but you're claiming to be God's own. He also said that the prayer of the sinner is an abomination unto him. So, you see, I have strong reasons to snatch you away untimely. Just look at this carnal man. You're a very easy target, because you are spiritually weak. Get ready for death as your portion. I will be back. Bad dream. Bad dream. My head. My neck. The blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my life. I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Father, have mercy on me. Forgive my sins and have mercy upon me. Create in me a clean heart and renew your spirit within me. Let the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse me from every iniquity and purge my heart in Jesus' name. As from today, Jehovah help me to live in holiness and righteousness. For without holiness no man shall see the Lord. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into my life. Come and dwell within me in Jesus' name. Amen. Living in holiness and forgiveness is one of the weapons you can use to defeat and crush the enemy. When you live in holiness and forgiveness, the devil will not have anything to hold on to, but when you live a sinful life, the accuser of brethren will use it to accuse you in a spiritual battle. Harry, that's a very good presentation. I'm very impressed. Thank you, sir. Now, let's agree on what model we'll be using. Harry, can you take it to the second slide? Harry. Harry. What's going on? Please, take him to the hospital immediately. Thank God, you're finally awake. We took your vitals and your blood pressure was so high. This is risky and deadly. Your blood pressure is too high, 180 over 110, this is considered as hypertension and we'll have to be monitoring you always. Doctor, does it mean I am in hypertensive patient now? Yes. The same illness that killed my cousin four months ago. I just remembered, I lost my mother to this same illness. Could it be why I suddenly started having shortness of breath? Blurry vision and headache? Yes, that's why. Untreated high blood pressure can lead to heart disease, stroke and even death. 
you may have life-threatening complications if your blood pressure is higher than 180 over 120 mmHg. You have to limit your salt intake, stay active and take all your medications. I'm particularly concerned about you especially, as it runs in your family. I am now a new creature in Christ and I have been redeemed. Old things are passed away and by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. I will not die but my blood pressure will become normal in Jesus' name, Amen. The doctor asked me to stay fit, so I'll just take a walk this morning. I'm enjoying this song that I'm listening to. I walk with God the Father, I walk with God the Son, I walk with God the Spirit, I have divine backing, I do not walk alone. I'm walking in power, I'm a living testimony, I live a life of favor, for I know who I am. For the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one, therefore, my persecutors shall stumble and fall, their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. I rise up in victory, fear is cast away. For whose report shall I believe? Is it the doctor's report? No. It is only God's report that I will believe. If God be for me, who can be against me? I walk by faith and not my sight, victory is my portion, it is my birthright. Because the devil has been placed under my feet, every weapon that is fashioned against me shall not prosper and every tongue that rises against me in judgment is condemned. The Lord has lifted me up and I am seated with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, far above principalities and powers. The Lord has put all things under my feet to bruise and destroy all my enemies, even Satan, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, anywhere the soles of my feet shall tread upon, the Lord has given unto me. I tread upon and destroy completely all strongholds and barriers of the enemy against me. I erase them all and I make them completely desolate. My strength is in the Lord Jesus Christ. God's grace is available unto me. I receive the ammunition of angelic guidance and operations in my life right now. Angels have been ordered by God to take charge of me in all my ways and I receive them. They go ahead of me wherever I go, and in whatever I do. The angels of God watch over me in the daytime and night time. I trust in the word of God. The word stands sure when I speak it. It will accomplish the purpose for which I have spoken it in Jesus' name. Right now, I send the word of God as a missile to destroy all principalities, powers, thrones, rulers of darkness and the devil. I receive the word of God as a shield and covering over my life in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in 3 John 2, I shall prosper and be in good health. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my life. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, let the blood flow and wash away every sickness. I am immune to every form of sickness. I claim the word of God in Jeremiah 30 verse 17, For I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. I claim good health, I claim healing over my body in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. The name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise and worship and prayer and fasting are also spiritual weapons that you can use to crush the enemy, which is Satan the devil. Father, I thank you for all the achievements and accomplishments of today. Thank you for the miracle of going out and coming back safely. To be all the glory in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, as I sleep, I ask that you send your angels to take charge. I cover this environment with the blood of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my bed, my room and my house. Father, according to your word in Revelation 12 verse 11, I overcome every trap of the enemy by the blood of the Lamb. Disappoint every accuser through the blood of Jesus Christ. Powers assigned to hijack my blessings and greatness, be arrested by fire. Every strongholds of sickness and disease built around me, be pulled down by the blood of Jesus. I shall not spend my money on sickness in Jesus' name. Thank you Father for answered prayers in Jesus' name, Amen. I have turned off the light, it's now time to go to bed. Harry. Harry. Tonight is your last night. You're going to die. There's something different about him. I see light shining all over him. Nothing can stop me from taking your life. Harry. You're going to die. You're going to die. I invoke the spirit of death upon you now.
Now, to your job. Bring his blood to me. Not so fast. Not so fast. I am the angel in charge. You cannot take God's child, he goes nowhere. You cannot say that. His forefathers entered a covenant with me. I will make sure I take all of them in their prime. This is his turn and he cannot escape it. Galatians 3 verse 13, Christ has redeemed him from the curse of the law, being made a curse for them, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hongeth on a tree. Colossians 2 verse 14 to 15, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly trumping over them in it. It doesn't matter. You know that you cannot save him. He's a sinner. He does not fear you, he's proud, has shed innocent blood. He does the things you hate. He's now a new creature. He's now my child. Romans 8 verse 1, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made them free from the law of sin and death. 1 John 5 verse 4, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. I am the way, the truth and the life. No, you cannot stop me. Spirit of death, take him now. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing. And I gave unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them to me, is greater than all and no man shall be able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. John 10:28. It's a good day. I slept like a baby last night and I feel so relieved. It's time to prepare for work. I have a doctor's appointment later in the day. God, please take charge. My going out and coming in is blessed in Jesus' name, Amen. Doc, good day. How are you? Hope you're feeling better. Yes, doctor. I'd been feeling well recently, all those symptoms I used to experience are all gone. My blood pressure is now normal. Are you serious? Come closer, let's check your vitals. This is good. Your blood pressure is now normal and even all your vitals. What happened? It's God. He is the great healer and he has healed me of every sickness. That's right. As doctors we treat you and God heals. Thank you doctor. You're welcome. Make sure you keep checking your blood pressure in case there changes. All right. It will continue to remain normal in Jesus' name. Amen. My healing is permanent. He has given me victory. I will lift him higher. Hosanna in the highest. Thank you, Father, for I know that affliction will not rise the second time. I will not die prematurely, but I will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. I will continue to serve you in spirit and in truth. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. Hello everyone, thank you so much for always supporting. Thank you for watching my videos, for recommending it to someone, for sharing. Thank you to everyone who has also supported through Super Thanks. My prayer for all my amazing views is that a thousand shall fall at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Your glory must shine this year. May God send you people to propel you to your destiny. As you use your spiritual weapons, that enemy called Satan the devil shall be crushed out of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, remember to give this video a thumbs up 
drop a comment, share this video and subscribe. God bless.